guys. So let's see what I'm up to on the uh, on a weekend here. So you all know Big Red, my work truck. I never get a chance to take it off the road. It's just impossible. Um, it's the only work truck I got. So I mean, it, she works hard. So Big Red has got a brand new 350 engine I put in there around five years ago. So I shouldn't say new, but it was all rebuilt. 350 with uh, 300 horse. Uh, it's got a rebuilt turbo 350 tranny. I just had the rear end rebuilt with a posi in it. It's got brand new leaf springs, all new tires, new exhaust, new rad, new steering box, boom, boom, boom. It's all new, whatever you want to say. Um, this truck, seriously, you drive these old C10s you can get in this truck and it just handles and steers like a brand new truck. Like usually these trucks are pretty worn out, not this one. But she's getting rustier and rustier and rustier over the years, but it's a work truck. And uh, my main concern on all my vehicles is running gear. I'm not the guy that gives a shit what it looks like going down the road. I'm more concerned about whether it can go and stop and get me where I got to go. So a few years back, I replaced the doors with good doors, original doors that were rust free. And I replaced the inner and outer rockers because that was the only rust on the truck. Um, but the box is quite bad, uh, really bad. So I'll let you have a look here. So you can see, like, look at that box. Look at that. Even I'm not interested in fixing that. You know, and the tailgate's all buggered. The bumper's all twisted up. And that, that was, you know, that's just been the way it's been. So, but like I say, I did replace the doors. If you actually look, the rockers are done. It needs, the only rust repair this truck needs left are the cab corners. But the front fenders, the floors, the body mounts, the inner fenders, the hood, all that is rust free. And like I say, running gear, it's all new. So what I did was I picked up another original mint rust free box and tailgate and bumper. I had the bumper powder coated silver because I'm not really a big fan of the chrome bumpers. I find the steel bumpers are stronger than the chrome ones. So this morning I'm out here and I raptored all the inside. So there's the tailgate. It's all been raptored. Just do it myself here at home with a kit. You can't see the box, obviously, it's under masking, but it's all been raptored inside. Let me get a light on here for you. Now, of course, you're gonna, you know, there were some dents up in the wheel wells of this box. I mean, it's a box, this, but, but this box is rust free on the sides. Absolutely rust free. I can't believe I found it. And I got a smoking good deal on it. So, um, I think I paid $600 for this whole box of no rust. And it's set up for the dual tanks, just like Big Red is, so I got both the doors on there. So, I didn't bother fixing these dents inside, because you have to understand something. I'm going to put this box on, and within the first week, it's going to be scratched up. Big Red is a workhorse. But, she's getting pretty rusty, so it's time to slowly change this out. So, what I'm going to do for right now is, this week, I'm hoping, by the end of this week, the box is all in final primer. We're going to get her in the shop. We're going to prep it, and I'm going to get the box all painted. I'm also going to get it up in the air here this week and wrap her the underneath of it. It's ready to be wrapped her too. So that's my plan. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get the box in, get it prepped for paint, get it painted, get the tailgate painted, get it up in the air, get it wrapped it underneath, and then while that's going on, I'm going to take the box off Big Red because I can only afford to have Big Red down for two days, and I'm going to pressure wash the shit out of the frame of the back half of Big Red, and I'm gonna throw two brand new gas tanks in it while I'm at it. Just because these tanks are good, but I just wanna throw new ones in just to know I've done them. Because we all know they can be a bit of a nuisance. They come out of there easy, but getting the lines hooked up sometimes, bit of a pain in the ass, because the lines are right on top of the top of the tanks, obviously, and they're up against the box floor. But I'm not gonna paint the frame or anything under Big Red when I, put, when I uh, pressure wash it. Um, I'm gonna pressure wash it really good, clean it up, and leave it alone. The only reason I'm not gonna do that is uh, the one thing I, I don't like, and I'm sorry if some people take this the wrong way, I can't stand it when somebody takes like a frame and pressure washes it and then paints it all over top of the brake lines, the gas lines and all that, because in order to paint something to me properly, you would remove all the brake lines, all the fuel lines, you'd remove all that, and you would, um, bloody wasp, you would get in there and you would paint it nicely, then put all the lines back on, rather than just shoot and paint all over the lines. I just can't stand that. You ever go to take a line off, and you got paint all over it, you know what I mean? You're trying to crack it loose of the wrench, and it's got fucking paint and shit on it. I just hate it. So, I'm just going to pressure wash the frame, get it looking really clean, even though it's going to be kind of bare metal in some areas, and get surface rust. It ain't going to matter, because that frame is never going to rust through any amount of lifetime that I've got left. This truck will outlive me. So that's what I'm going to do, but at least she's going to have a new box on her. So Big Red's finally getting some attention well-deserved attention. She's put in a good long haul here and hopefully next year what the plan is is next year I don't have to take the box right off. I can just unbolt it, slip it back six, seven inches, replace the cab corners and then guess what? Probably by that time the box will be scratched up anyway so when I go to repaint the cab I can just quick, quickly scuff down the, the box and give it another quick coat of paint too. So there we go. So that's what's happening on my days off. 
Big Red is getting something done. So she'll, happy, she'll be a happy girl when it's all done and over. So hey guys, remember, it's always a good time at old time. Hopefully you guys are out there doing something in your own shops today. And uh, enjoy this fall weather we're getting. See you later.